Hello, hello, beautiful collective. Welcome to the show, Mystic Eye 369 Tarot. I hope that you are doing well. Clearing the channel with my selenite wand. All right, let's go ahead and get right into your reading. I have the Whispers of the Ocean Oracle deck here. All right, angels, ancestors, Holy Spirit. What messages do we have for the beautiful YouTube collective today? The highest and most beneficial information, please. Holy Spirit. Okay, let's see. What does Spirit want to tell you today? Clear and precise messages. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> we have two. Okay. Card number 18, clearing the excess. You are entering a transitional phase and would benefit from clearing away excess clutter, whether it is in your physical body or your physical space, okay? So yeah, it's time to make way for the new. So that could be, you know, decluttering your home, you know, um, donating things to charity. Uh, it could also be, you know, belief systems, mindsets, you know, ways of thinking, lack mentality, victim mentality, um, whatever it is, it's time to let go of that so that way you can welcome in the new, okay? And then we also have here card number 33, let your personality shine. You have something no one else has that makes you who you are. Stop comparing yourself to others and allow your uniqueness to shine through. Absolutely. It's time to bring um, yourself out of that gorgeous shell of yours, okay? Let the world see the real you. There's only one of you. Bless us with your presence, okay, and your gifts. All right, I'm going to use my <laughs> I'm going to use my little homemade deck here. So we have here. Okay, well, let's go first things first, right? So the first card that we have here is victim mentality. So three key beliefs of victim mentality. Bad things happen and will keep happening versus, you know, you can empower yourself to say, this is making me stronger, right? Other people or circumstances are to blame or you can say, what can I change or control about this situation, right? Um, and then we also have here, any efforts to create change will fail, so there's no point in trying or you can dust yourself off and try again even if you know you run into some challenges there so that's how you can move away from this victim mentality okay and then we also have here a quote by nikola tesla antisocial behavior is a trait of intelligence in a world full of conformists beautiful clarity especially for card number 33 there let your personality shine okay so it's okay to march to the beat of your own drum it is definitely preferred um okay bring your unique gifts talents personality to the table so the people can embrace you for the beautiful soul that you are here that's too many too many too many let's see anything else holy spirit anything else final messages okay here we have here I took a vow that from now on, I'm gonna be my own best friend. Yes, quote by Beyonce, right? So I feel like, you know, if you have been keeping yourself small because you don't want to outshine anyone or you don't want to draw attention to yourself, you're kind of like, you know, a hermit. You like to kind of stay in your own space. Um, you know, it's, it's time to be your own best friend and shine. Okay, sorry about that, someone was at the door. So yeah, I feel like now it's time to be your own best friend, to empower yourself, to believe in yourself, and that's a beautiful thing, okay? We also have here, 
If you think you're too small to make a difference, try sleeping with a mosquito in the room. <laughs> That's a quote by the Dalai Lama, right? So absolutely, yeah, don't think that your dreams are too big or that you're too small to make a difference, okay? You can do whatever you put your mind to. It's all about, you know, dedication and persistence. If you improve 1% every day in a year, you would have improved you know, um, 365%, right? So that is beautiful. Okay, anything else? Holy Spirit, angels, ancestors. We got one more over here. Botanica. Okay, so with this Botanica card, this could be um, a time to do some spiritual healing, whether this is, you know, just getting a, a white candle and calling on, you know, your ancestors, your spirit teams, the Holy Spirit, Jesus Christ, whoever it is that you, you know, feel comfortable praying to, whether that is going to, you know, your local metaphysical shop or Botanica and getting some sage, opening a window and, you know, clearing your space. We did get the clearing the excess. So maybe Maybe as you, you know, declutter your home, your room, um, whatever it is, you know, maybe it's a good time to go and grab that sage and cleanse the energy of your home as well. Okay. Let's go ahead and jump into tarot. I think I'm going to use crow tarot. Let's see. All right. Angels, ancestors, universe. What is it that we most need to see today for the beautiful collective only the highest and most beneficial information please and thank you all right that feels good one two three one two and a three. Oh, one second okay Let's see. Okay, Holy Spirit, what do we need to see today for the beautiful collective? Okay, we have the strength card. What else? Strength card, seven of cups in reverse. Okay. Two of wands. Ten of swords. King of Swords and the Six of Wands. I'm going to go ahead and move these over. Okay. Hmm. All right. Let's get one more row here. Okay. Six of Pentacles. Let's see. Nine of Cups. what else and the queen of swords okay so we do have divine counterparts here king and queen of swords um let's take a look here this is going to be a lot of um, air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, okay? Uh, swords are all about, you know, your intellect, your thoughts, right? Ideas. Um, it's also about your strength, your power, and communication. Okay, so let's see. Uh, for the recent past, we do have the strength card here, which is like there's a situation that you had to bring, you know, courage to. You had to use your determination or perhaps your... Um, Perhaps, uh, you know, your persuasion um, and or some some influence here. So with this strength card here, um, whatever it was, I feel like you had to use your self-respect and your courage in a situation because perhaps you felt, you know, betrayed with this Ten of Swords here. This is you know, a complete and painful ending, feeling like you've hit rock bottom. The beautiful thing about tens is that they are about completion. So I do feel like you had the courage and the strength to walk away from a situation that was no longer serving you because there was not an equal give and take with the six of pentacles being in the reverse here. So you decided to pour into your own cup and start focusing on your self-care. You may have had to, you know, cut your losses here because this is also about like unpaid debts and it could also be about stinginess so i do feel like you had to pull back your um your energy from a situation that was no longer fulfilling and was unbalanced okay in your current energy we do have here the seven of cups showing up in the reverse which is like it's talking about you know alignment um and 
it's like releasing any diversions releasing any distractions you know seeing through the confusion right and with that king of swords here yeah bringing truth bringing authority to the situation standing in your power and also having self-discipline right to go for what your wish fulfillment with the nine of cups here so the nine of cups is also about like your material abundance and good health. So I do feel like you're now, you know, standing in your power. You're cutting loose any distractions, um, anything that may have been like diverting your energy and you're going for your wish fulfillment, your happiness and, you know, planting seeds accordingly here. Then we have with the forward moving energy, this um, two of wands here. So... You know, this can be like a uh, like a being in the planning stages here. You're making a decision. This is all about progress. Okay, forward moving energy. Perhaps you could be looking back at the past while also, you know, kind of like taking the insight that you gained from your past learning experiences and then using that to manifest like version 2.0 of yourself. Okay, that's what I see there. And it is clarified by the six of wands, which tells me that this is going to be a success okay victory is yours you are going to be recognized this is you know good news you're going to be like i said awarded for the seeds that you are planting there so keep going and then we do also have queen of swords energy here which says that you know people don't give you enough credit like People look at you and they would never have guessed, you know, what you've overcome in your life. And I don't say that because you're a victim. I say that because you are a victor, okay? You are victorious here. You are complex and your mind is clear. You're very independent. Keep going. P keep being direct with others as well as being direct and honest with yourself. And that is going to bring you ultimate success here, okay? Uh, lastly here, I'm going to pull a card from daily crystal inspirations for any of y'all that like to work with healing crystals we did get the botanica card which is you know um it's like a metaphysical shop where you would get your sage your healing crystals um all of those spiritual goodies okay spirit let's get some healing crystals for the collective please all right i think we have three so let's see your first one here rhodonite find a way to forgive okay so this is about forgiving self forgiving others and um seeing everything as an opportunity to learn to empower yourself to to bring love and compassion to the situation for self and for others clear quartz is going to help you get crystal clear on your intentions okay um also can help you when communicating with your spirit team as well uh and then lastly here black tourmaline this is going to help you to protect your energy um black tourmaline is good for absorbing negative energy um i have it here in a ring and then um i also have a piece of raw black tourmaline here that uh you know whenever i'm feeling like i need to release some things i hold it in my hands you can like you know gaze at it um you can envision you know your negative energy um just kind of like being absorbed into the crystal don't forget to also you know like thank your crystals as well as cleanse them when you are done okay and yeah that's going to help you overcome uh any sort of like emotional trauma and help you get back on the up and up to health wealth and abundance all right okay lovelies i'm gonna keep it short for you all uh much love and many blessings namaste and I'll see you all in the next one. If this reading resonated for you, don't forget to smash that like button. Uh, anything that you need to know about me will be found in the description box below. Peace.